Hi, folks. My name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. In a mounting environment where the general public is phasing out of desktops in their homes and increasingly looking to laptops as their primary computer, medical clinics are now being cornered to accommodate this trend. In recent years, when patients ask for their x-rays, they are typically provided with a CD that has their records on it. Now, much of the population does not have access to a CD player. Records are stored in a variety of ways. The most common on a USB flash drive. Virtually all updated computers can accept USB compatible devices. But now this presents a problem to clinics as their standard MO for providing x-rays to customers is to burn images on a CD that contains a DICOM viewer that automatically opens when the CD is inserted in another computer. The images are viewed in their original DICOM format and referred doctors can manipulate them using the tools that are embedded in the software. Most DICOM software, or digital x-ray software, can export images into two or more formats. Doctor's offices can elect to export x-rays onto a memory stick in their original format and then load a DICOM viewer so that recipients can review the images in the intended format. Incidentally, DICOM viewers can be found on the internet as free or reasonably priced downloadable platforms. But this option may have its limitations. For one, the DICOM viewer may not have an autoload option. So, if the patient or receiving doctor is inexperienced in working with digital files, it could be a challenge to navigate this process. There may be difficulties with the viewer finding the x-ray images, and patients may complain that they can't open their records. So, either the clinic that is providing the x-ray do their homework and establish a system that allows easy x-ray access, or they should look to a different solution. One of those solutions is to consider exporting their x-rays in simple JPEG format. Most of the population knows how to double click on a file and open it within a Windows or Apple environment. JPEG files can be opened using the popular Adobe Acrobat software. This makes it easy for patients and doctors alike to gain access to the files without incident. The downside here is that these files are simpler and less robust than the DICOM files. That means that doctors cannot manipulate, zoom in, or adjust grayscales on these images. In most cases, this is not a problem, but it can be in other circumstances. However, physicians may choose this option because of its easy workflow between offices and patients. Regarding HIPAA regulations on this matter, HIPAA indicates on their website that files can be saved in different formats as long as medical facilities give patients the ability to review their images. If DICOM images are provided, it is incumbent on the office to provide a DICOM viewer as well. So, it may be advisable to load a basic copy of Adobe Acrobat when exercising the JPEG option, or at the very least to ask the patient if they can open these files on their own computer. Some clinics are well on their way with these methods. It obviously requires time, money, and effort to achieve this capability. Doctors may opt to charge for the labor to put these documents together on these thumb drives. Secondly, when x-rays are stored on a flash drive, Clinics should save all of the software and images in a password protected file. That way, if patients lose the drive, then others will not have access to the data. It is imperative to mention that doctors are required to save the patient x-rays in the encrypted DICOM format within their offices. These are the original images and should be stored and secured appropriately. It is okay to save x-rays on a flash drive, but offices should use prudence and err to the side of caution when doing so. That concludes this segment on Can I Save Patient X-rays on a Flash Drive? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.